Taylor Swift's private plane lands at Los Angeles airport to support boyfriend Travis Kelsey's game before the Chiefs vs Los Angeles Chargers game, on Saturday, September 28, pop star Taylor Swift's Bombardier Global 6000 VJT 993 was spotted landing at LAX airport. The plane landed successfully after taking off from John F. Kennedy Airport in New York, Swift's trip was reportedly accompanied by her mother Andrea Swift, who both traveled to Los Angeles for the Travis Kelsey game on Sunday, since the Global Star's private jet landed in Los Angeles, all eyes have been on Swift, her surprise appearance heralding a thrilling game at the SoFi Stadium in Los Angeles. Not only that, fans will get to witness the Kelsey and Swift families reunite again. Two weeks ago the sweet reunion of the two families also took place at Arrowhead Stadium, and tomorrow the same thing will happen again, the So High School singer is currently on a two-month hiatus from her hugely popular era's tour, in a clear sign of Swift's arrival, fans are eagerly awaiting a sweet moment of Swift cheering on her NFL boyfriend. Most recently, Swift attended the Chiefs-Bengals home game on September 15. The 34-year-old impressively fanned herself during Kelsey's introduction, much to the delight of fans. Swifties also enjoyed the alchemy singer reacting to a sign directed at her during the game. On September 5th, Swift also cheered on the NFL star at the Chiefs vs. Ravens game, where her stunning game day outfit wowed fans. Fans also swooned as Swift and Kelsey recreated the viral PDA photo from last season after the game. The cruel summer singer will resume her era's tour on October 18th, so she'll have two more chances to see Kelsey before she hits the road again. Swift will perform her final show on the era's tour on December 8th in Vancouver, which means she'll be able to attend the Chiefs' remaining games of the 2024-25 season. Ahead of the Chiefs vs Chargers game, Chiefs linebacker Travis Kelsey stepped in for an interview after the Chiefs' practice on Friday. Travis Kelsey attempted to downplay his uncharacteristically slow start to the NFL season. Asserting that he's the same dominant player from years prior, through the first three games, Kelsey has reeled in just eight catches on 12 targets for 69 yards and zero touchdowns. During the Kansas City Chiefs' 22-17 win over the Atlanta Falcons last Sunday, NBC's broadcast captured the 34-year-old looking dejected on the sideline while girlfriend Taylor Swift was absent from Mercedes-Benz Stadium, sparking rumors that there could be trouble brewing in paradise, despite his lackluster offensive output to begin the year. Kelsey insisted that he is still able to achieve the same results that he's put together over a decorated 11-year NFL career. I think this year's stats may say something different. But at the same time you'll see the same person inside this building, and that's all I really care about," he told reporters on Friday. I'm my own worst critic. Everything outside of this building is just noise. I'm fortunate. I've had the success in the past and I realize that the ball can't always go to one person. It can't always get in my hands, but at the same time, I got all the trust in, Patrick Mahomes, to make the right decision and he's been making great decisions, we might not be putting up as, many, points as we want to, but at the same time we're 3-0 and we're doing something right, in the absence of Kelsey, several other Chiefs players have stepped up to do the heavy lifting on offense. Against the Falcons, wide receiver Rassi Rice recorded 12 receptions for 110 yards and one touchdown, marking his second game with over 100 yards through the air. Backup tight end Noah Gray, meanwhile, has reeled in four catches for 50 yards this season, while undrafted running back Carson Steele amassed 72 yards on the ground in Week 3 in relief of the injured Isaiah Pacheco. I love the way Rashi's been playing, Kelsey said. He's fun to play with and he's one of my favorite guys in the building. We put more trust in Noah. Great to see him go out there and do the things that he can do and he's just such a well-rounded player, outside of that, Steele, too, I think the emergence of guys stepping up to the plate and making plays for us and helping us win ball games I think that's the most fun so far this year. Though the Chiefs boast a perfect 3-0 record this year thanks to wins over the Baltimore Ravens, Cincinnati Bengals and Falcons, Kelsey asserted that there are still areas where he and his teammates need to improve. I think there is a bit of understanding of we're going to have to keep working and we're not where we want to be, 
he said, we want to win every single ball game we can and at the same time there's a sense of urgency throughout the week to get things right for the opponent that we're playing. And then on top of that, when we're watching the games in review, we're just non-stop trying to critique ourselves to get better, Isaiah Likely's big toe landing out of bounds kept the Chiefs versus Baltimore Ravens game from heading to overtime. In week 2, the Chiefs needed a 4th and 16 pass interference call to avoid losing to the Cincinnati Bengals. And last week, the Chiefs defense had to hold the Atlanta Falcons to 3 points in the second half in order to come away with the close win. The Chiefs' biggest issue? Their offense. Everyone on the team is aware that the offense isn't holding up its end of the bargain. Patrick Mahomes barely has more touchdowns than interceptions, and Travis Kelsey has just 8 catches for 69 yards so far. Kelsey, in particular, has concerned fans with his underwhelming performance, Travis Kelsey isn't worried about Chiefs' offensive struggles. Mahomes and Kelsey have both spoken about why his stats aren't what we're used to, but the tight end is confident it will get sorted out as the season progresses. We're always constantly working to get better here. That's always been my focus. I think this year, stats may say something different but at the same time you still see the same person inside this building. I'm my own worst critic. The schemes keep getting better and better. Everything just stacks on top of each other. All the coaches and the players, everybody together, they have the goal in mind to keep getting better throughout this year. That's the mentality you gotta have. It's easy to be confident when you're 3-0. But Kelsey truly doesn't seem worried about his lack of production or the low point totals the Chiefs offense has gotten away with, Mahomes and Kelsey, guided by head coach Andy Reid, have a history of figuring things out as defenses adjust to what they do offensively. There's no reason to believe this season will be any different. The Kansas City Chiefs have found an insane amount of success since Patrick Mahomes entered the league. They can attest to that with three Super Bowls, including two in the past two seasons. A big reason for their success is the culture that Andy Reid established long ago. It allows players to hold each other accountable, while also playing for each other because they enjoy each other's company. That's particularly true for Mahomes and Travis Kelsey, who have been teammates since the quarterback was a rookie. Their on-field and off-field chemistry are synced, which allowed them to turn into one of the best quarterback pass catcher duos the sport has ever seen. Kelsey started this season with a hairstyle that was met with widespread disapproval. It led to some blaming Taylor Swift, opining that her influence led to it. But over the past two weeks, Kelsey has looked more like usual self. He's still rocking the mustache like he's done for a while, Mahomes, meanwhile, has had the same hairstyle for quite a long time. If anything, it has gotten longer, although he trims it whenever it gets too out of hand. It would be a shock to see him go back to such short hair. Kansas City Chiefs quarterback Patrick Mahomes, a three-time Super Bowl champion known for his exceptional on-field performance, has recently faced a wave of criticism for his physique. Dubbed the dad bod by some NFL fans, Mahomes has been the subject of online jokes and memes. However, his longtime trainer, Bobby Stroop, is defending Mahomes' body as a vital asset to his game. The comments surrounding Mahomes' physique are not new. The quarterback faced similar criticism last season when a shirtless photo of him during the playoffs went viral. Despite the negative attention, Mahomes laughed off the remarks, saying, I thought we got the dad bod thing out of the way last season.